So that's me, the girl with the leaky faucet. For my whole entire life, my nose has always been very runny. And I'm not quite sure why, but I would have hot soup and it would run, or cold ice cream, or just go for a walk. And I really didn't even have to do anything at all. It would just constantly be running. In elementary school and junior high, I was too embarrassed to actually go across the room to get some Kleenex. So I would just blow kind of my nose in my shirt sleeve, and it would be really embarrassing. But later on, I moved to tissues, and because I didn't like throwing things away, I would keep them kind of crumpled up in my pocket and I would reuse them, which was another form of embarrassment. And not to mention my nose was continuously just raw and red. And I just hated the whole waste about the whole thing. When I was in college, I got to the point when I was like, all right, something has to change. So I started thinking. I knew I didn't want to use tissues because of the clutter and because it hurt my nose. And also, they're really wasteful. You cut down trees so you could make some tissues that you'll use a few times, if you even use them over and over, and then you throw them in a landfill forever. I think not. So I started thinking again. Then I was like, what about a handkerchief? I mean, you could reuse that. I started doing that and I really liked it. Just throw in the washing machine, my nose it wasn't hurting after using it. But then, even then, I started to feel pretty insecure because people weren't used to people using handkerchiefs and I would take it out of my pocket, I would blow my nose in it, put it back in my pocket in this kind of unorganized way that I felt like it kind of didn't seem like there was an order to the madness that maybe snot was on my hands or in my pocket, so, so that's when I gave up on that idea. And then I started thinking... came up with a hanky book. A hanky book. If I bind pages together on an edge like a book and have a cover around it, then I could blow my nose in the pages and then my hands won't actually touch where my snot's touching. And then when I put it in my pocket, it won't get my pocket dirty. Perfect. It took me a long time to find the right fabric for the hanky book because I knew I wanted it to be 100% organic cotton and I had to find a fabric that had organic cotton and wouldn't fray on the edges. Like when you wash a lot of fabrics, they'll start fraying and get stringy, so I couldn't have that. And I also couldn't have the fabric thin enough that when you washed it, the pages would curl. So believe it or not, it took a very long time to kind of find a fabric that met all of my needs and um, also had cute cute uh, little pictures on the front because I feel like that's the big perk about the hanky book and so but luckily I found awesome fabric and I'm really happy with it and now the hanky books are being made in Poway, California and they are 100% organic. My name is Leslie UK and I invented the hanky book. I came up with the hanky book for myself and then I've been using it for a few years and people along the way keep pointing it out and like really kind of being excited about it. So I turned it into a product that sold really well at the Earth Fair in San Diego and it turned out there are all kinds of uses for it. Hanky books are great for blowing your nose, cleaning baby dribbles, cleaning your laptop screen, wiping camera lenses, gardening, and they are great for backpacking. Really though, the possibilities are endless. People who haven't, who would not feel comfortable using a handkerchief felt really excited about the hanky book. And I think it has to do with it being like cute and not feeling uh, like you're kind of touching the area where you've blown your nose before. It kind of just seems like a completely different story than the handkerchief. Um, and like in my generation, it's the only people we really see using handkerchiefs are like our grandparents and it just kind of seems like it's been outdated or something but the hanky book brings it back into a new package and gets people excited about it and I'm hoping that enough people can start using them and then replacing using tissues and can kind of get rid of that disposable culture that we've developed. Thanks for listening to my story.